Hello everyone and welcome to my first video of how to make your own discord bot in python. So let's get started. So guys before starting I highly recommend you to learn python if you don't know it yet. So I have given the link of Python full stack course for beginners which must be flashing right now in the top right corner. So for setting up your discord API you need to head over to discord developer portal so just open your browser whichever you are using then just search for discord developer portal and just click the first link and it will open your applications page. Now you just need to say new application and you can name it whatever your bot's name is so I can name it something like YouTube and I can say create. So my bot is created. As you can see the name is YouTube and here we have got some stuff so you need to head over to your bot and we have to say add bot. Now you make sure to enable both of them and you need to provide the permissions. So I'll be using for local purposes so I'll just say administrator you can just select each one individual whichever access you want your bot to be provided. So I can just save changes and once you've done that you can just head over to your OAuth tool and just select bot and administrator and you can just copy the link and you can just paste it in your browser this will be invite of your bot. And I'll just select a server. I'll say continue administrator. And I'll say, yeah, just caption stuff. And it says authorize. You can just close it. Now, if you check your Discord, then this bot will be added to your server, but it won't be working at the moment. So, in order to make it work, you need to just use this token, which is provided right here in the bots. So this is a token you can just regenerate it and maybe you can just copy the token. So what you need to do is just head over to your desktop and just say create new folder and let's name something like your bot's name. In my case it's YouTube and you can just and you can right click and say open with code which is VS code and if you don't get this open with code option then you, what you can do is just in your VS code you can pre press ctrl k plus ctrl o to open a folder and you can just select your folder whichever folder it was. So it opened the folder now we can say we need to create a .py file and I will be naming my file as main.py you can name whatever you want it doesn't really matter and then you can just head over to your terminal and say pip install discord.py so I already installed it in my case that's why requirement is already satisfied you can just close it now you can say import discord and you can say from discord.ext import for me commands now you need to create a bot variable and I'll name a bot variable as bot and you can say commands dot bot and its parameter will be as you can see command prefix help command description is equal to none and we have coags here so what we can say is we can say case uh, firstly we need to set command prefix so i'm going to set my command prefix as full stop you can you can actually set it anything you want uh, i'm just saying i'm just setting it to command prefix i'll show what this command prefix actually is if you are not acquainted with discord bots now we'll just pass one more parameter which will be for intents and i'll set my intents as discord dot intents dot all so make sure to put the parentheses so i'll be showing why these intents are required in my future videos for now you just have to enable them all and next you need to do is this is just for formality we can set it to case insensitive so what this case insensitive will do is whenever you will use a command then uh, let's say your command is help so it is h-e-l-p but what if you 
but if you write all in uppercase or all in lowercase or maybe in titleized format then this function will not work so we can set it case insensitive so that whatever we'll write the command will still work now we need to just uh, provide decorator to a function which will be bot dot command and i'm just going to define my async def and i'm going to set my command as something like hey so i'm going to name my command as hey with capital h now even if i write you know h e y like something like um h e y or h e y so it will still work now i need to pass my context as my first parameter and we'll only have one parameter in my case so i can say await ctx which is my context dot send my uh, something like yo there so this is just to demonstrate how commands work in discard bot and we can create one more function which will be an event function so it's going to be async there on ready so this on ready function will be called on a certain event which is when the bot will start so we won't have any parameter in this and uh, i'm gonna say print yeah i'm there so this is just to you know notify the user that the bot is ready and you can start using the commands now so it will just notify whenever the bot is ready now i can say bot dot run so i just need to run it and i'll pass my token which i just uh, you know copied from my discord developer portal you can just copy it and you can just paste it over here so now you can run a bot and you can head over to your discord so yeah as you can see the bot says hey yeah i'm there so means the bot is ready now you can use a command so i'm gonna say hey my prefix was dot and i'm saying hey which was my commands function and it says yo there and even if i say hey then i will so it will work and it says you there so it's command and the command is case insensitive and that's what we wanted now we can we also have some parameters like delete after so i'm going to say delete after and i'm going to set it equal to something like three seconds i'll rerun the bot it's running and i'm gonna say uh, again i'm gonna call hey and it says you there and as you can see the message was automatically deleted so this is just to set up the base environment of our discord bot so that's all for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it like the video if you liked it dislike if you didn't subscribe and share for more and i'll see you guys in the next video.